Spiritual soul in the building, gazer soul in the building, nature soul in the building. Listen, let me tell y'all something real quick. So look, I got a little experience. I got a little story time for y'all. This, this is no hate. This is no hate towards my ex, because I know most of y'all know my ex. This is no hate towards her. If it was, I would have been doing it on my main channel. This is everything positive to help people and to help her and to help everybody that's going through this situation. So look, let me give you an example. Say, for instance, your life is the shit. You got everything going good in your life. Everything is flowing. You taking care of yourself. You meditate. You ain't even got to be meditating. Put meditation to the side. You just having good vibes. You taking care of yourself. You probably traveling. You probably having fun. You found the flow in life, right? But every time certain people come around you, you find yourself moody. You don't want to do nothing no more. Your vibes change. You don't have that same drive and fire that you had no more. It's gone, right? But the person that come around, you may fuck with them. You, they may be cool. You, they, they may be your bro. They may be your girlfriend. They may be your boyfriend. You cool with this person. Let me give you another example. You might have somebody in your life. You might have somebody in your life that you know it's a good side of them, but you're trying to hang on to that friendship because you know that it's you know that they need help. You may be going through their bullshit, the bullshit that they putting you through because you know it's a good side of them. They got a good side and they got a bad side. Right? So you 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 may have a friend, a best friend, that's always emotional as fuck. She always emotional. She can't never stay happy. And she be fucking you up with that shit. She might call your phone all emotional and shit. All crying to you. And then next thing you know, she back doing the same shit that made her emotional. With all that being said, let me tell y'all. So let me tell y'all about my ex. So me and the type of relationship that my ex have now is more spiritual now. It's no, it's no, 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 no benefits, no none of that. I've been taking care of myself. I've been protecting my energy. We don't even talk like that no more, right? So I've been taking, bro, I'm in my house. I, my energy, my house is full of good love and energy, bro. It's nothing but good love and energy in my house. I'm taking care of myself. I got crystals. Bro, y'all just see little shit. I be showing y'all little nibbles and bits. I've been moon gazing for three days straight. I got a, te a telescope, a telescope, whatever you want to call it. I've been taking care of myself. I know what I have to do. Look what I mean. Look what I'm drinking for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Look what I'm drinking for breakfast. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, my. Oh, oh, man, it's fluoride in here. I can't get none of you. Mm, fuck it. Bro, that shit nasty as fuck. But listen. So check this out. <laughs> So look, my ex comes over yesterday, right? She pulls up. Intentions with sun gazing, spiritual talk. It's nothing better talking about real life shit. Sun gazing, spiritual talk, etc. Every person that comes around me or I talk to, I'm noticing that they are better in their life. I'm giving them advice that they can go and better their life. I'm getting all these answers from myself, my higher up. They, every person that comes around me, I'm uplifting. Put it like that. Right? So my ex comes over yesterday. Why? I have no idea. But when she come over, it was chill. Right? We chilling. We having a conversation, just talking about spiritual shit. Moon gazing. Spiritual wars. Sun gazing. She started trying to practice sun gazing. All this shit, right? Good ass conversations, laughing. We talking about weed, laughing, joking, everything, right? I'm like, damn, this girl cool. Okay, cook. Finally, she cool. Like, she see, she see that I'm not on that bullshit. I'm not on that tip. She cool, right? Not even a couple hours later, everything completely shift. The energy in my house completely went dark. It went from her talking about spiritual shit to her arguing with me of why I don't like her or why I don't want to be with her or why don't I try to communicate with her. It went from being, remember, I'm taking care of myself. I'm meditating. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm not looking for no relationship. Everybody noticed. 
My, my energy is so cleansed. I'm a vegan. I'm doing everything to keep myself away from drama, bullshit, toxic shit. This motherfucker slipped into my house and completely tried to take all of my energy, bro. When I tell you certain people that you think are people are, bro, these motherfucker has some type of dark parasite energy cleansed to them. They cannot stay happy. It's certain people that come into your life to bring you down. They want to keep you stuck at a certain level of, they want to keep you down here. They don't want you to transcend. They don't want you to be happy. It's your job to protect your energy. Watch who the fuck you let in your house. Watch who the fuck you conversate with about what you're doing on a regular basis. Watch who you laying your head with. They could be a whole fucking parasite out here. Some of these motherfuckers have parasites. You could call them demons. They have dark energy attached to their emotions. They cannot stay happy. Why do they have that shit attached to their emotions? Because they are weak spiritually. They are not connected with themselves at all. They are lost. They think relationships, all this bullshit is more important than their own self-love. You putting everybody else before your own self-love. How the fuck can anybody love you if you don't love your damn self? My energy has been purified, clean, everything in my house. I got crystals, everything. As soon as that shit happened, I even stopped myself three times. I'm like, why are you trying to argue with me? It went from, you don't like me to why you don't even try. I'm not, I'm, I ignored her. Then it went from that to something else. They had even tried to pick shit. Bro, it comes to the point you would just laugh like, this motherfucker trying to argue with me and it's funny as fuck. They, they still trying harder and harder and harder. I just told her to leave. I said, bro, you have to go with that shit. You got to go with that energy. You got to, bro, you got to get these motherfuckers the fuck out your house. You got to cut these motherfuckers off. I don't give a fuck if it's a husband, a wife. You would not transcend happy. You cannot stay happy with these toxic ass people, parasites in your life. These motherfucking dark, everything is energy. When you start connecting with your higher self spiritually, you up your level of consciousness, raise your frequency, raise your vibration. You will start walking into certain places and start feeling terrible like it's a bad frequency in there. No, these motherfuckers got dark energy connected to their fucking bodies, connected to them. You could call them demons. You could call them what you want. I'm going to say dark energy because I don't want my niggas getting paranoid. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video. If you have people that come around you and you be good, then when they come around you, you're not good no more. They are sucking your energy. You don't even know it. Yo, you might think y'all cool, but they got a parasite that don't want you to be happy. People is put on this earth to keep you at a low vibration. You have an ex-boyfriend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you are hanging on to. And you know you can't even stay happy. And you know they ain't even doing shit to keep y'all happy. Cut them off. If you have a friend, stop bringing them around you if they're not trying to up their life. They will come around you. You got all this good energy around you. Nothing but good vibes. You happy. You taking care of yourself. They see that shit. Now they want to know why you don't fuck with me no more. Or what's wrong with me and you? Or this and that. I ain't shit. Nothing happened with me and you. I'm just taking care of myself. I'm not focused on you or nobody else. The point I'm trying to make in this video is... People is put here to keep your ass stuck, to keep you sad. Bro, if you feel like you can't find something better, something is wrong. That's why I said I want to find only I only want to date girls that know how to meditate. No disrespect, but if you're a regular girl, you can't do anything for me. I am trying to be a multidimensional being, which we all are. I'm looking for a multi-dimensional girl. I'm, I want a motherfucker I could build with. We're going to get the answers from within. We're going to be on some Jay-Z and Beyonce shit. There's no way in hell you can find that type of shit with a girl who all she care about is a relationship. And what you think about her. It's not about what I think about you, bitch. It's about what you think about your damn self. Protect your energy. Cut these people off. Get these parasites, this dark energy away from you. It's time for you to stay happy. 
You can't be happy keeping bullshit people around you. You can't be happy keeping these people around you, no matter how fun y'all have. If you know you can't stay happy around this, this person, cut them off. Once you cut off that shit that's been holding you back, it's nothing but bigger things to look forward to. Bigger and better things. There is no way in hell I could be happy and then all of a sudden a motherfucker, just one person come and fuck up my happiness that fast. And it's not even her fault. She don't even know what she is. Most of the people, most of y'all walking around every day, y'all be emailing me, asking me these questions. Why I can't do this? Why I can't do that? It's because it's something that is bigger than what you think that is attached to your emotions. How do they get in you? What we do on a regular basis. If we drink alcohol, if we smoke weeds, weed is weed opens the gates. I know that now. It opens the gates for good or bad, whichever type of person you are. When you eating these meats, putting this dark, dead flesh in you. Everything we do opens gates for dark energy. That's why you want to be connected with yourself. It's way bigger than what y'all niggas think. You can laugh, he he, ha ha, all you want to. Just pay attention to how you feeling. The more I'm on this spiritual journey, the more y'all gonna learn. Cause I'm learning every day, but I'm just focused on myself. I gotta get y'all some videos about the moon gazing, my moon gazing experience. It's life changing. Everything is happening right now. Everything that I'm talking about, it, it, I got info from my fucking moon gazing. Anyway, man, protect your energy. Cut these people off. No matter if they're your best friend, friend, you think something, you can't try to save your friendship risking your happiness. No matter what, you got to be happy. You got to focus on you. Spiritual soul signing off, bro.